This is Casey Labs. This video is about how to build a microwave smelter. As you can see I have two bricks here. One of them is hollowed out. It's got a little crucible in it. And in this little video I'm going to show you how to make and evaluate whether or not you should make up a little crucible or a little smelter like this and put it in your microwave. I had to find some way to melt small amounts of gold and I began looking at some of the things on the internet and it turned out that the internet microwaving smelting has been around for a long time and so I decided to come up with something that was rather simple easy to work with and I could cut I could fashion from the resources that I had so I went ahead and took a some kiln brick as you can see this is the real light kind that you can cut with a hacksaw and you can actually take your you can actually take your chisel and chisel out the inside of this thing for your crucible and then you put a little place to put to grab it from here and then you go ahead and you make sure with your crucible that your crucible has got plenty of boric acid on it and the boric acid helps to keep the crucible at, at uh, the same temperature so it doesn't crack. So you want to have the boric acid all around your crucible and if you can on the back. I have tested this particular smelter and with my little temperature gun and it gets up to about 350 degrees on the outside of the, the uh, kiln brick here. And that's important because most of the microwave glass protectors that are on rollers on the bottoms of your microwaves will only protect you know between 500 to 1000 degrees they're actually fairly robust I haven't haven't ever had one crack but I know you could eventually make one of those microwave glasses crack somehow some way with whatever temperature you want to put it on there but this temperature it gets up to at least 2000 degrees it will melt uh, uh, I can get it up to I think probably around 2300 to 2400 degrees. It will melt this stuff and it'll allow you to run it. You get it you get it out of the microwave, you uh di you drop it into water or you drop it into a mold, whatever you want to do, and it actually works pretty good. So, as you can see the the kiln brick here it's not that expensive. I think I paid $5 for this particular brick and then another seven dollars for the crucible. I've got some tongs that I use and some various other things that go along with it. You want to have a hacksaw, you want to have a chisel. You've got to be able to test it with your temperature sensor somehow otherwise you'll end up with a situation where they, you don't know what the temperatures are on your, around, your cruci around your smelter. It actually works pretty good. Casey Labs out.